All right, so this is going to be a feeding video. Today is August 25th, 1243. And uh, we got two parachromis dovi here. We got one batch of fry here, maybe 3 sixteenths of an inch or so. And uh, these rocks on either side of the tank, they got the last batch of fry hiding. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually see any. Let me see. I don't see any on this end. They're definitely there. Try it back here. Oh, there's the male again. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see them or not. Yeah, they're pretty good hiders. They're tough to see. Maybe we'll actually see them when I put the food in the tank. Uh, I'm not really sure. But without further ado, I've got approximately two pounds of tilapia here. Uh, I'm not actually feeding them that much. I just cut up a whole bunch. So, I'm just gonna open up one of these lids. This, of course, is the 360 gallon tank in the basement and uh, I'm just gonna chuck some food in there just take a couple pieces now the parents will actually take the food and uh, chew it up for the fry at least they should they usually do oh there's a there's one right there coming out sort of And he went back. We'll probably see him later. But, uh, some more piece. What I usually do is I'll feed the, the parents till they stop eating. Um, and then I'll break it up a whole bunch myself just to make sure the fry gets some. Um, I, of course, can spread it directly where it needs to go, so I'll put some over there, put some back there. And uh, I'll break it up real fine for these guys. There's some more here. They're probably slowing down about now. Yeah. Okay. So that was a couple handfuls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these smaller pieces and break it up real fine. And it should actually spread throughout the tank fairly well just because of the, the way the current is going through here. But see, I'm just breaking up super fine, making a whole cloud. Surprisingly, he don't attack my hand. He'll chase me super aggressively from ends of the tank, but he won't actually bite my hand. It's a bit of a chicken. So it's impossible to really see, but the fry are eating this uh, broken up shrimp. I'm just gonna let this piece go. Probably someone will get it. Yeah. They're just so darn tiny, they're impossible to film. I gotta clean this tank today too. Oh, so two are here fighting. Probably a piece of shrimp got close by. I think we're gonna be able to see him. Oh, just went over that rock. Okay. So I'm gonna close up this part. Okay. It's a little tricky to do this one handed. I'm usually not recording when I'm doing this. Okay. So there's still a bunch of really tiny pieces of shrimp floating in there. The camera don't pick it up super well. But uh, I'm going to drop some over here. Maybe we can see if some fry will come out. Like I said, there's two different batches of fry in this tank. One is a bit bigger than the other set. I'm not so sure if they're able to eat these or not. Oh. 
almost coming out there. And uh, of course I have the third set of fry upstairs. So I can't reach my arm nearly far enough back, but uh, it should, you know, should spread out fairly decently. Just kind of flick it that way. I lost a piece. So this, this is a super weird camera angle. You see, I can't really reach. I don't know if you can see or not, but I can't reach nearly far enough back. This uh, tank's three feet wide, so I'm trying to break it up. Not, not as tiny here. All right, now I'm just gonna try and push it down that way as much as I can, so it goes behind them rocks, and the fry will definitely get to it. So, not sure if we'll actually see any come out. It's usually tricky because uh, the parents are defending their fry from this batch, so they can't really come out exactly, or else they'll get eaten. So, it is a bit tricky to manage this tank right now. So, just close this up again. Fix it, catch the plant. Yeah. Alright. This, of course, is a real live plant. It's a pothos. Oh, there's one. On the rock there. Oh, shoot. There he is. You definitely saw him there. Yeah, I definitely got to put more rocks in this tank as well. They don't really have a lot of room that's uh, completely safe. And uh, yeah, I'd say these guys are maybe three quarters of an inch. So they're not big at all either. Move this out of the way. Get a couple more pieces here. And uh, this is what I sometimes feed the babies. There you go. Might eat that. Nope. All right. A bit later, I guess. Also got to be careful that the uh, overflow there don't get too much of the food. Oh god, I just saw me to piece. I missed it. Yep. Just got a piece there. There goes the mother trying to catch him. So, yeah. I don't even know how many are in the tank. Of them. But, uh. That should be plenty of food. You know, it, it definitely does get back there and they are able to get it. Um, very difficult to record that. Oh, there's another one back there. See, this is the one we saw before. Uh, he's going now. Oh, there was two there, I think, actually. Just went out of the rock. This tank is super interesting to watch. There's always something. It's like having uh, big fish uh, and small fish in the same tank. And uh, there's of course the interaction between them happening. So, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna close this lid here. Try to keep the humidity down here in the basement. That's something I always fight with. So yeah, that was a uh, usual feeding. I'll do this maybe every second or third day. I'll feed shrimp. I used to just feed like almost maybe every fifth day when it was just the parents. Dehumidifier. Oh, there's one on this end. 
if I had to guess, I'd say there's maybe 12 or so. And then of these little ones, maybe 100 or so. Of course, upstairs we got 20, we know we have 18, about three inches or so. That's a pretty interesting tank as well. But yeah, this is absolutely one of my longer videos. Um, I think it's definitely still an interesting, or a good one at least. And uh, I'm going to end it here.